the last set of concerts I played before the whole pandemic came about, in this country anyways, was in Palm Beach, Florida, with David and Wuhan. They were already practicing social distancing in the hall, so there were a few seats in between all of the audience members. And after that, um, I flew home to be with my wife. Just a few days later, I woke up with a high fever and a cough and body aches. I could really feel my lungs being on fire and I felt like a truck had ran over me. So I went straight to get tested and five days later it came back positive. Turns out that I contracted the virus. We immediately decided to distance uh, from one another with my wife but it turns out that she also came out with a virus, although in her case, the only symptoms she had were loss of smell and taste. Thank God, uh, considering that she was nine months pregnant. So a lot of ups and down, and luckily we ended with a big up, having seen uh, the birth of our boy on April 2nd. I joke a little bit that, in a funny way, right before becoming a father, I became a bachelor again because I was at home by myself, eating all the meals by myself, feeling a little bit uh, 10 years back when I was single and uh, just doing everything on my own here at home. So that was a bit, a bit of a strange feeling. As a matter of fact, I think that it was some of the best practicing that I've ever done. The fact that there were no concerts coming up allowed me to pull back a little bit and focus on things that typically I feel like I'm not able to just because it's always a time crunch. I do play Bach every single day. I don't know if it sounds so good in the apartment, but it feels good to play it. Bach's music is eternal. For us violinists or cellists or pianists, it's something you can do on your own at home. Everything is there and uh, you just have to produce it on your instrument. It's almost more conceptual, the music. It's, just, it's impossible to realize it as well as the, um, what's on the page. Practicing makes the hours pass by faster than if I wasn't practicing. It's just uh, time changes when I have the violin in my hands. I just delve into the music or whatever I'm doing on the instrument and stop thinking about everything around me. Of course, having a newborn at home has also cut on the practicing. Maybe the desire to practice also a little bit just because I'm enjoying spending a lot of time uh, with our baby and there are also in the small New York City apartment times when I can't really practice when he's sleeping which is almost all of the time right now. It's all become about him and I think most parents will say that that you become less selfish in a way because uh, all your attention goes into this new creature living with you and that you have to take care of. Right this way. Right this way. <laughs> Having had this life-changing event on top of a life-changing event, this pandemic, uh, but having had uh, the birth of our child has also completely shifted who I am as a person and my outlook on things. There's no way to really know how I would have reacted, but, uh, you know, had I not had a child, but all I know is that nowadays it's, it's pure bliss at home. Even though my schedule has been incredibly busy with our baby boy and that is uh, completely controlled by his schedule, one of the things I allow myself to do almost every day is go on a run, which is great physically, of course, but also mentally, just to be able to spend a little bit of time outside. And I go around Central Park, I make sure I wear my mask when I do that. I certainly have been doing a lot of listening since all the concerts have fallen off, and I've been loving it. I've of course been listening to a lot of music through my runs and one of the composers I listen to the most on my runs is Beethoven.
in a funny way, his music helps me get through particularly the hardest part of the run, which is uh, towards the end of my run. When I get to about mile four or five, I usually do six miles. And so at the time when I feel like I'm struggling the most, often is where in a lot of Beethoven's music, we've gone through a lot of struggles and then we come back up with this triumphant ending that helps me push through the end of the run, which often is the most difficult part. I like to think about that uh, for myself and for the situation out in the world that we're all going through a difficult time right now, but we will all get through this. It gives me this sense of comfort that everything is going to be okay in the end. Thank you.